Hello, Susmaya. Hello, Sinusit. <laughs> How are you today? What game are we playing today? What is this? I'll get to that, Susmaya, but I just want to say hello to my good friend, Rolo. Oh. Hello, Rolo. I guess. I'm stuck in limbo currently. This is the place in between life and death. As you can see, there's nothing here. I'm just kidding. We're really here to play hot dogs for shoes and hair. <laughs> I guess I don't get that. This game is twenty. I said hello to you, just my guy. Stop being yeah, stingy. No. This you game is twenty dollars. Good friend, this game is, Rolo. This is my best game. You didn't say good friend, Tibsmart. This game is twenty dollars on Steam. <laughs> We're gonna so where start is, off. We're gonna so where is Greyfell's? He was in the last Greyfell's video. Greyfell's got fired. All right. I heard rumors that Greyfell's was playing City Skylines while we were recording the last, the very first impressions video. Oh. So, uh, so Greyfell's is no longer with us. So we are gonna be going to the indoor range today. Bam. Wait, I still haven't got my check from the last uh, video. You mean we can't we can't be playing City Skylines while what we're doing? No. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Oh, shit. So this game. Hot dogs for two hand grenades. $20 on Steam, guys. It's is very it? cool. I've put about 30 minutes into it so far. Not that many minutes, I know. But I'm going to show you guys something, okay? There's like four or five different environments. Right now, we are in an indoor range, as you can I see. I found my notes, by the way. All right, good. So say, do they say be funny? It's the most important thing. Right, too far, <laughs> I, could, I can put you... that down. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I need okay. help. Okay, so... I've never been to a shooting range before. I know you have, which is why. Typically, like, how far away should I put the target? Because we're in an indoor range right now. Hang on, I have a quick so, question. Okay. Um, obviously, this game was made for Americans because it says in feet. Could you give me, like, a meter to feet conversion? I don't know what meters are, Rolo. <laughs> so I'm just going to put in 15. That sounds like a number. We can call them feeders. <laughs> so anyway, so what this game is trying to do is I believe the developer is trying to see what kind of complex interaction he can get away with in VR, which is very cool. So as you can see, I can grab this gun and just put a slide back. Oh god. See, I can just look inside of there. That's pretty awesome. I can then pick up a magazine. Some bullets. <clears throat> yeah, you see you got some bullets in this magazine. And I can then put the magazine in the gun. Shit. It didn't. It did go in. Hold on, wait. Hold on. How does? How does? I don't know how guns work. Is this? Oh, it goes shit. in the top. <laughs> shit. Hold on. Wait a second. Oh my god. Go this is a disaster. This is a disaster. There we go. Yeah. All right. There we go. Pa Yeah. That's fun. Anyway, so <laughs> there are quite a lot of objects in this game, and are they is... all guns? No, they are not all guns. I will get to that in a second. Oh. But are they hot dogs? I haven't played the most uh, the most recent update. I believe there are hot dogs of some sort. But I know I've told you this before, too. Well. I don't know. I'm sure I probably told Rolo at some point. But I'm gonna tell you again. The simplest things in VR are incredibly satisfying. Like just this, just taking this gun and just throwing it and catching it. It's so fun. Like it, it's such a satisfying feeling. Okay. So when, when like the simplest actions are satisfying, that means that when you can pick up a revolver, open up the cylinder, and put bullets in individually, you can only imagine how much fun that is. And as you know, Jamar, I love revolvers. I don't know. So what would you say to the person that, you know, says, VR is not really all that great, you can just do all this in real life, you know? I say to that person, you give me the money to go to a range that's open 24-7 whenever I want. Give me the money for this weapon, this weapon, this weapon, that weapon, all these bullets, unlimited bullets actually, and maybe I will do that in person. But hey, Can you play gun roulette? Or what's that, what's it, Russian what's it called? Roulette. Russian roulette? My Absolutely. range is always open. Let's see. Take yeah, out one bullet and then point it, and then I want like does your oh, shit, does your character have like oh, an invisible health bar where if you shoot yourself in the face that you'll die? I actually don't know. This is very morbid. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I think you press this. Yeah, there we go. All right, so you just want one bullet. Just one right. bullet. Dude, this video was not supposed to turn off this way. Goddamn. All right. 
<laughs> See, just that. Oh my god, this is just gonna be 40 minutes of us in here, isn't it? God damn it. So look, like god, that's so satisfying. Man, look, okay, so I press a button, all right? Uh -huh. all, everything is physics based, okay? So. You know the Vive controller you can see right here. It has uh, it has this trackpad right here, and the trackpad actually has uh, I, I think it's it might be four different directions. I don't know if it uh, I don't know if it's capable of more than that, but at least four different directions that you can press to do to do uh, different things, right? So I pressed the trackpad with this gun, and if I just pressed it like this, nothing would happen. Okay, see? Why not? That's, but because cause explain. Because it's, I mean, I'm in the middle of explaining because it's physics based, right? So I press the button that like undoes the cylinder thing, and then I hold it down. Oh wait, hold on, wait. So are the there bullets, we go. are the physics, uh, are the bullets uh, rendered like armor? Do they come out of the barrel, you know? I have no idea. We don't talk about that game anymore. But anyway, okay. here, we'll play a real quick game of Rush Reboot Lit, okay? Yeah. <sighs> Shit, this is, this actually feels really uncomfortable. If you I'm lose, you have to, uh... Give me your five. Shit, we fucking lost! Oh my god! Holy shit! That scared me to death! Oh my god, that was loud! Oh my god! You blew the gun in your ear. Jesus fucking Christ! Fuck this, man! I'm gonna go write a really long article on fucking Polygon, complaining about how the guns in this game are too realistic and it triggers me. Anyway, don't worry about what I just said. Oh shit! Wait. Okay, I actually haven't used this gun yet. But, uh, but yeah. Anyway, getting back on track. Oh, that's really loud. Getting back on track. All of the guns in this game, and all of the objects, actually, are really, 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 really satisfying. And some of them are actually really complex. Like this M4, I think that's what this is. Um, there's a lot of different... That's an AK-47. <laughs> okay, thank you. There's a lot of different uh -huh. components. Um, I thought it was a Stratocaster guitar. That are, that are rendered. You see, I can just grab, like, is this the bolt release? I don't know. Like, some, I can grab this little thing on the back, pull it, and then there's this thing right here that I can tap. So I believe the correct loading procedure, you grab this magazine, stick it right in here, pull this back, and then tap it on the side. Oops. Oh, I actually tapped that button. Hold on. Oh, shit. Okay. So, then you can grab uh, this thing right here. And my head, my tracking on my headset was just lost. Oh god, oh god! Wait a second. I don't know what you guys are seeing, but I'm in total, total nothingness right now. I'm in vibe hell. Oh my god, what's happening? All right, we're back. I dropped the gun. Okay, where was that? Okay, so some of the guns in this game very complicated. So I can grab the foregrip. I can pull it up here. Wait. Oh wait. Hold on. Wait. I should probably grab like some iron sights. Stick it on the top there. Pop. I can grab the foregrip, look down the iron sights, and bam! Oh, wait. Oh, hold on, sorry. You, hold on. There we go. You have to switch the fire. Anyway! <laughs> That's very funny. Okay, so, enough of the indoor range. Alright, we, we spent too long here. We fucked up. God, this is going to be too long, just like the last one we did. Okay, we're going back to the main There's menu. There's no such thing as too long. We're going back to the main menu. Here we go. And now, I'm going to show you the warehouse range, which has all of the items, okay? This game does not... Even the hot dogs. Just, even the hot dogs, I believe. So this game does not only have guns too long. Oh, no. Oh, no. This game has loading time. Okay, now we're back. All right. So this, this environment is actually way too big for my play area, so I have to teleport quite a lot. But you can see that there are a lot of toys to play with. So are there grenades in this area? Yeah, I think. Can you pull a grenade and drop it on the floor right in front of you? That's probably going to make all of these items go everywhere. That's, all, that's but okay. Will, but I will do that. Here, let me, uh, let me step over here, get a nice little view. Alright, we're gonna pull this pin. Toss it over there. You happy, Willem? Not happy. How the hell am I gonna get all this shit? I mean, how am I gonna get all this shit? How am I gonna get all this shit? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna get all this shit, alright? The developer has thought of this, Rollo. He has thought of your jokes. You go down here to reset scene, you press the trigger, and bam! It's like nothing happened. So anyway, what I was saying, 
You have all of these items that you can interact with in very interesting ways. Like here's this thing, if you want to be like Terminator, you press the button, flip it down, put these shells in here. I don't believe that Terminator ever used a sawn off shotgun. Wait, did he use a sawn off shotgun? Like, Term Terminator 2, right? He, that was a lever action. Oh, really? Okay, well, whatever. Could be, be, will be Terminator. But anyway, okay, so we're gonna get back on track, guys. So, the developer for this game, I believe, originally started this, like I said before, as a prototype for what kind of complex, like, so he could see what kind of complex uh, interactions he can get away with in VR, which is awesome. I love stuff like this, it's very satisfying. Tell me, my cats are fucking hot shit. Oh god. Anyway, so... Shoot them. <laughs> so, for example, with just this shotgun, okay? You can, you can uh -huh. open it up, you have to put in the bullets yourself, you can then... Wait, there we go, sorry. You can do that, that was my fault, not the game, I forgot how. Okay, you can then open it back up. You can even go down here to this table, close it that way, which is awesome. Or, if you want to be really cool, you can just, uh, you can just do that. POW! What? Pachow! Pachow! That's so satisfying. Pachow! Pachow! I'm very bad at it, apparently. But yeah, anyway! So, I have all question. of these, uh, yeah. So, we have all of these people making a big deal out about, that did make a big deal about video games causing violence, you know? The, yeah. the violent video games, people are going out. Shooting, shooting, pl shooting places up, you know. Yeah. How are people going to react to this? Where <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Considering that this game uh, goes through all of the, uh, all of the steps of grabbing an M4, putting in the magazine. If I can, if I can fucking put in the magazine, there we go. Pulling this back, yeah. slapping this. I'm telling you, this game is going to get a lot of controversy because people. This are almost dumb. looks like every. Every antisocial white kid's built training center for shooting at school. Is this game? Possibly. This game's really good though. Wow. We need to do that. Anyway, God, this is so man. We need to like, get, we you know we should just stop doing this stuff uh, raw. We need to get a script going on, guys. We ever want to be like you know IGN. I'll whatever write the fuck it. We're trying to do. You write the script, okay? So like I was saying. Oh shit. So this game. This game, um, he started it off as a prototype to see what he could get away with, all kinds of object interaction stuff, complex stuff like this right here. And then they decided to make a full game out of it. This game is in early access right now, and it's $20, like I said, which for the amount of content in the game right now, I think is perfectly reasonable. But what's very exciting is since he has announced this project before it was even named Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. Consistently, week after week, he's been putting out dev videos and just showing off, you know, each feature, uh, you know, and being very, very, very transparent with the development process, which is fantastic. They seem like very cool guys who are obviously very talented. They also have a sense of humor. As you can see, I know your favorite <laughs> animal is their horses, right? This is your favorite. Especially horses. There we go. Oh, God. It's early access, like I said. What we got here? We got a cow. That's no excuse. Oh, no. I don't know how to use them. I remember. Yeah, you flip you just, it over, and then you yeah. flip it back over. Really what, is, dumb. What, what does this do? You've never had these? Whenever you were a child? It, it, it like, makes a sound. Yeah. You, you flip it over. Oh, it goes... Yeah. No, I've never had these. Jerry the Lily? Oh, Jesus! Screaming. Must have been American culture. So that's cool. So yeah, they have a lot of uh, a lot of objects in here that are not just weapons. Um, Put the banana in the AR and try to shoot it. Okay, hold on. Wait, let me can you this first. can so, you load up the hot dog wiener in a shotgun barrel? Um, uh, maybe. Damn. You know that is a really, really, really high resolution hot dog. Wow. God, look at that texture. That's actually really impressive. I mean, you go. failed. You failed this battle letting maps in your life too. So. Yeah, probably. All right. Okay. Matches so, are dangerous. 
That is a rating system. So check this out, guys. Check this out. Oh shit! Oh god! That's that's really nerve wracking. How do you how do you like the zippo? Oh, I see it's got a lot of fun stuff like this though, and it's essentially you know just the sandbox. The more content yeah, that to looks be added. Like one. So, so, so how long uh -huh. until you, how long do you think until we get good games? S say like Banjo-Kazooie or something like that. Not to say that these aren't good, but I think a lot of these games that are out right now in VR are more like demonstration. I'm more what? Sorry, that was really loud. The, these are just for like demonstration purposes of showing like what the, what the vibe and, and VR is currently capable of and all that really cool stuff. Like, do you think that there's gonna be like like adventure games? Yeah, totally. Like Banjo I mean, Kazooie. There, there already are. I don't know about Banjo Kazooie. I'm gonna go to a different environment. That should be yes, something else. But yeah, I mean, um, I mean, you're right. A lot of VR games right now are um, sort of like this. It's kind of like they have an idea and then they, you know, release kind of like a prototype thing. A lot of early access games, or a lot of VR games, are in early access. But I mean, that's fine. Like. It's a new technology. Developers don't really know. I mean, even though you know the DK, like the the, the Oculus Rift DK one, you know, was, has, been, has been out for a while. Um, but even then, like the technology as a whole is still really, really, really new. So developers have to experiment. You know, I mean, that's why that's why AAA. Like, I don't I don't think there's a lot of AAA, uh, AAA developers that have really, you know, like put like announced any huge projects for VR because I'm sure they probably just don't know what they're doing yet. And you have all of these indie guys that they don't have, uh, you know, as much to uh, as much to risk throughout development. So they're making awesome things like this. I mean, I would imagine that you know a big company like I don't know, like EA or like I don't know. Let's think of like Dice, right? Like let's say the next Battlefield game is released and it's going to be com like compatible for VR. I can guarantee <laughs> that it, it's not going to. I mean, this is all just you know hypothetical to talk. But I guarantee that, that <laughs> like they couldn't, they <laughs> they couldn't have a reload system like this, right? Because this is just too complicated for most people. I don't really know what I'm doing to like not get the magazine. They would sell it to you as DLC. Yeah, exactly. Can you and dual wheel? Can I dual wheel? That's a good question. Actually, you check this out. I think can this you is dual wheel? Awesome. So, so hot dogs. Is, so, uh, probably I don't think there are any hot dogs here. But check this out. So this is just a good example. of how wow. amazing the developer is. Someone no, requested a feature on Reddit. Oh my and god. And that feature was slam loading, which apparently you go to Reddit? this is. And it's whenever you know you have a magazine and like the fortune. magazine is a physical thing and you can just bah, you know slam it really fast. So this is what I'm gonna try to do, alright? Yeah I do that with my guns. Do you? Alright. I have a lot of guns. So oh shit. Slam reloading? Yeah slam loading. I think that's what it's called. Don't Okay, this is what's gonna happen, okay? So, let's just pretend. Actually, yeah, there's a target over there. So I'm gonna shoot the shit out of this target, okay? And then I'm gonna spin around, I'm gonna drop the magazine, slam load it, and then spin around and shoot some more, okay? Okay. And VR, and this game especially, it makes you feel like a badass. Even though I'm not, I'm not very even good at it. Even though you're not. Yeah, yeah, even though I'm not of it. I'm not very good. Being a badass, but I can still feel like one of VR. See, we can just do. We can just act like you know. We just stand here, you know. Like what? Like what? Then we look to the left. There's someone there that wants to duel. Oh, he wants us. He wants us. So we take our gun kata position. We then drop the magazines. Watch out! Watch out! Turn around. Slam him! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh I fucked this up! Oh wow. shit! Wow. Good job. Oh <laughs> shit! Wait a second. Yeah. Oh god, come on! Oh god, this is embarrassing! Hold on! Wait a second! Let's, let's do this! Action movie reload! Watch out! Shit! <laughs> oh god damn it! <laughs> well, that was a disaster! But if you were good enough, you know, that would totally be possible. And going back to, uh, to requested features that this amazing developer has added, I actually Bella songs. Bella songs. Someday. Actually, you know, that's actually a Oh wait, I have a quick question. Can you Well, that's a really good idea to the revolver? Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. So, 
I actually requested for this feature when uh, I first started seeing the devlogs for this game. Which is I special. sent the developer a message, and he said, the feature that I requested, which I'm about to show you, he said that he had already been thinking about doing this for a while, <clears throat> so he included it, like, just a couple of days later, which really blew my mind. And I haven't done this a lot, because unfortunately I haven't spent as much time in this game as I would like to, but I'm going to show you real quick, okay. So, let's imagine that man down there, that was, this is the Wild West, and that's our opponent. And we have our gun. I, oh, actually, here, check this out. Are you a revolver also? Yeah, pretty much. Look, I actually totally forgot about this. This is, I should have told you guys this earlier. So, Metal Gear fans. There are... <laughs> Rejoice. There are, as you can see, I need to actually put these down lower. This is really awkward. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. I feel like such a fucking badass. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. That's really weird. Like, having... So, okay, there's a holster system, right, where you can, uh, you can attach, attach different objects. That for can you shoot the firework and have it ignite? That's a really good idea. Well, we're going to test that out. We'll test all of this out. But, firework. so, Whatever so is done, like, this is our opponent, all right? Check this out. I'll grab this. Oh, yeah. Flip it on, man. You want some? <laughs> So yes, he added gun spinning, which is fantastic. And I'm so bad at it. Oh shit. Oh my wait. Oh god, whoa, my controller lost track. Okay. Alright. Shit, hold on. Wait, I can do this, guys. This is really embarrassing. I should have practiced this stuff. Okay. Oh god, my fucking headphones fell off. Oh god. Okay. Can you juggle? So guns. Um I mean, I'm sure someone. I don't think, I don't think uh, Dinner can juggle in real life. Yes, but in VR. VR, anything's possible. Or right, juggle the magazines or something. Oh shit. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think it works for them. Oh well, this game's early access. Like I said, it's fantastic. There's one more environment uh, that I'll show you guys. Let me, uh, let me actually try to shoot these things really quick. See, so you can easily lose hours just in here, like messing around. Like this is, you know, this has no structure to it whatsoever, but just. It's so satisfying. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna release it in your gangster. That's actually... I've never shot a gun sideways before. That's actually really challenging. Oh. Let's see. Wow. Well, Alright, anyway. Let me go back to this environment. I'm not yeah, bad. good. Yeah, I know. I really do need to get good. Oh, God. Okay. So there's one more environment. <clears throat> oh, wait. Oh, no, I'm totally wrong. There's two more environments. Check it out. He just added it. I have not looked at this at all. Um, excuse me. So there's actually an arcade experiment, which is his first sort of, like, uh, structured game mode. Um, you can grab... I actually haven't done this before. I've watched the videos of it. But I believe you can grab a gun. And then these squares come at you. You have to. You have to uh, destroy the squares before they kill you. Oh, that's and, very basic. Well, it is a prototype. Here's one. But I'm gonna get some magazines on my chest rig. I actually believe that if you put a magazine or anything in your chest rig, and you can uh, you can click on it with the touchpad, and it turns it into purple or blue, whatever color this is, then you can just pull it out. And then you essentially have unlimited of whatever item that is. So if you don't want to like be realistic or whatever and put, you know, have like a, a limited number of magazines on your chest rig, then you could totally do that. That probably means that I'm not going to do very well, but that's okay. Um, we're going to try 30 waves with full reload, nightmares, difficulty, orange button. This is really fucking loud. 
no problem. No problem. Does this game have anti-cheat? I can't even hear you. Hold on to my Oh god. This game hopefully has a volume slider somewhere, because this music is really loud. Oh shit, see they come all around you, man. This is crazy. Oh god. Alright, we got this. We got this. Have you guys been keeping track of how many bullets I've shot? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they're coming from multiple directions now! Oh shit! Oh god, oh Jesus, that's really fucking big! Holy shit, that square is huge! Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Wow, oh god! I thought we were trying to get a PG-13 rating. I can't even hear you. Oh my god. The, the, the whole PG-13 rating. That square is gigantic. Oh my fucking god, man. Yep. It's so big that you can't even hit it. Oh my god. They're coming from all around me, guys. Oh shit. Well, we can't commentate, apparently. So, what do you have to say? Oh Is shit. It? Hold I on. have crafting. Oh god! Nice. Yeah. It's really good. Oh fuck! I fell on my bed! Oh Jesus! This is the danger of the VR! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, oh god! Put the This guy in! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, oh no! Oh god! Oh, oh, nice. oh. Like, oh god! Oh god! Oh Oh, oh this is full auto! Oh no! <laughs> what are these? Oh my god! It's what are those? <laughs> oh my god! I think we need to move on. on to these other things. Come on! Come on! The quality of this view or impression is dropping. Oh shit, okay. Where are my guns going? Oh god. Matt. Oh, oh god. Oh, this is a bad idea. Okay. Okay. Shit. Shit. Okay. We're gonna put one of these on our chest rig. Where's our chest rig? Oh shit, come on, man. He's too immersed. Oh god. He's one with the game. He's jacked in. We can't get him out. Oh god. He's gonna get himself out. Oh. Oh. We have to go in. Oh my god! Oh. Viewers, you can just skip this part. Oh my god, I give up! I give up! I don't want to fight anymore! I'm done! I'm done! We're leaving! Holy shit! Hello? From Hello? The other side? Oh my fucking god! I hit my bed, guys! I hit my bed and it hurt. I fell down on my butt. Oh my god, we're gonna try to grenade the ball. Good. Fuck. That was so loud. Oh my god, what is this? Oh god. Can you all tab, open up Windows Mixer, and drag the volume down? Yeah, probably. What are we doing? This is grenade ski ball. Oh god, so as you can see, this game is fucking awesome. Oh my fucking god. Oh, it's really creepy. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, What's creepy? Just, just being, like, handling explosives and being Man, you sounds. sound out of shape. Dude, I am out of shape. God. You sound fat. Are you fat? Dude, I like... I'm so fat. So fat. Fat PH. I hope you're showing the webcam just your stomach fat right now. Pretty much, dude. I don't know where you guys are at, but here you go. Look at it. Look at it! What will right. it look like in VR if you start doing push-ups right now? If I started doing push-ups? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a good question. Hold on a second. So, I, I think this is just skee-ball, man. That, that actually feels a lot like skee-ball, though. Like, oh, well, I don't know if you guys ever played skee-ball in the arcades. Okay, okay, what you have to do right now is you have to pull the pin on the grenade, throw it up, quickly do a push-up, Stand back up, catch the grenade, and then ski ball it. I all think. before it blows up. Uh, okay, let's just test this out. 
Yeah, we'll throw that high. Okay. Yeah, you Pull the on, pin wait. when you come up from the you push Shit, up. God, hold on, wait. Yeah, let's so just, let's go to a different environment. Okay, okay. So, so no, 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 I, I, I know, I know. I, I played up. this game before. No, hold on, hold on. I, I got this. Okay, I got this. Let's find a, uh, let's find a good, good weapon. I really wish the revolver was here. I think uh, he said that soon he's gonna add like an item browser, um, so you don't have to rely on you know going to a table and picking them up and stuff. Um, you can just open up a menu. I guess kind of like here's my. I don't really know. There we go. Okay. See, I've been reloading them wrong, I guess. I mean, this game, I, I know that this is like a really stupid request, because I guarantee it's going to happen someday, but some sort of tutorial would be really good, uh, just because the, the, some of the uh, interactions are so complicated. But obviously, that's going to come, right? I mean, obviously. So you guys are going to embarrass me <coughs> by making me do a pull up, a push up, because uh, I sit at the computer all day, so why? Why should I be good at pull-ups? But this is what's gonna push-ups. This is what's gonna happen. Okay, we're going to leave that gun there. So this is something that I forgot to show off before. So you can set. Uh, the, this is essentially like here. I'll just show you real quick. Let's do uh, one target. Uh, let's see, one wave, and let's do ten seconds to shoot them. So you put in uh, you know different digits. You can see what the piece of paper says right here. You then use this lever to. Uh, choose the distance at which they spawn, and then you press this, and then a target's gonna come up. And I think it's in like a random position. That's really far away. I'm gonna pull it back some. But this is what's gonna happen, okay? <sighs> Rollo, this is my, I'm gonna do this for you guys. Perfect. So, let me, uh, let me turn on my shaft room. Well, you're gonna do it for yourself because we really oh. have a shape. <sighs> okay, so, I'm going to press this button. I'm going to spawn. Do I even have enough room? Where's my wall? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Hold on. Wait. I need to uh, position myself. I think. Oh shit. Alright. We're, we're gonna. <laughs> oh my god. So, I think I'm gonna have to lay this way. God, if I fucking. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Alright. So, I'm gonna press this button. Let me give myself some more time. Let's do 30 seconds. Okay. So, I have 30 seconds when I press this button to get down in VR, do a push up. I'm gonna stand up, pick up the gun, destroy the target. All right. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. Oh god! Oh god! I'm off. <laughs> I'm off. I'm off. Oh god! Oh shit! I'm fucking tangled. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! God, what am I? I don't know what I have. I'm stuck on something. Oh. God. Probably your cat. Oh shit, probably. Oh no, some cables. Oh, that was, squished your cat. That was fucking awesome! God Shoot damn. your cat in VR. Oh, see, I really wish that I was good enough to do some cool shit like... What's up? Oh shit, hold on, wait. What's up? Bow, bow. God, come on. Come on up. Grab the Grab my... Oh. Watch out. Watch out. God. I swear it's possible. There we go! I'm tired, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Well, shit. This video was supposed to be shorter, but uh, I guess I'll go over here. And I haven't done this before either. I'm in a table. But I will show you guys the other thing. So, goddamn. So this game eventually is going to have a bunch of different things. Hey, horseshoes. Not just guns. I believe he's gonna add some sort of grilling simulation eventually. But right now, you can play some horseshoes. So, I've played horseshoes before. I have an uncle that's very, very good at horseshoes. I think I have he's an uncle behind too. this, right? I also have a, I have a couple uncles. Oh. Do they play horseshoes? They do. Oh, I can't. I can't. Gunner, do we have the same uncle? Maybe. I just fucking... Oh, my God. Damn it. What is horseshoes called in Canada? It's horseshoes. Oh. Well, it's, it's horseshoes, eh? Get that A in there. All right, fuck it. I don't know how to. I don't know how. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my know. fucking god! I went back. To... Do you know how to play horseshoes? You just throw it. You oh shoot them. god! I feel obligated to throw a horseshoe now. Oh my god! So the touchpad controls. Throw the horseshoe. Are a little bit strange. 
Um, Does it simulate the weight of everything? Yeah, that's why I'm so tired, guys. I mean, you know, yeah. I told you this game is pretty fucking good. Like the the controller absorbs moisture from the air to weigh more. It's actually a hidden feature that Vive and HTZ, I guess. The HTC, didn't release. spend a lot of time in here just messing around with all the different objects and stuff. Making up your own fun games, like uh, doing push-ups, that's super fun. Going up, doing silly well, stuff like thank, that. Thank you everybody for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And... And if you want more donate. commentary like this one... You don't have to donate, but please donate. You know what that shit makes me want to do, guys? You know what that shit makes me want to do? Yeah, kill yourself. Cancer of YouTube. Yo, please, please, please like my videos. I work real hard on the videos. It really helps. Real fucking really hard. Out. We're out. We're fucking out. Say goodbye, boys. Thank you, Tismar. Nope. Thank you, Robo, for going on this adventure. I like this game so much. Honestly, Is that I would. Girl square. Is that what I'm saying? The inside oh, of the hey, I, I forgot to. Uh, I forgot to show you guys something. Yeah, check this out. God, this game's so fucking good. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot this box. Video's not over yet. Else. Yeah, video's not over yet. Hold on. <laughs> Got it, we're so unprofessional. Okay, so we if you if you squeeze this trigger, you see like it you see you can see it moving, right? And then and then if I pull it all the way, pow! It shoots the gun, right? So I usually how guns work. So pull a trigger that it goes pow. Stuff happens. Well yeah, but I mean I mean it simulates wow. like like the I'm pretty sure guns have different uh like different trigger weights, right? So you have to pull the trigger of the Vive controller all the way down before it shoots. But what you can do is you can actually pull the hammer back, and then he's tried to simulate a uh, can a, you slam a hair fire trigger. it? So uh, you cannot. But from the video that I watched, apparently, wow. I, I might be wrong about all of this. But listen though, the reason you can't slam fire, I mean, I can totally go like. But uh, apparently, this model of revolver, I don't think, is actually. Uh, it has the Olivia Slimfire or something. So. Alright, here we go. Two bullets. Oh, wow, look at that. I can actually... Wow, look at that shit, man. It's all over here, boys. Here. There we go. Let's what are your back. final conclusions? What do you rate it? God, God. Out of ten. You know, we, we need a more structured environment for this show, man. We're... Or structured format out of I mean, 10 what do you rate it out of 10 dude it's this is not a review okay this game is this what sandbox. is your impression rating my impression rating out is this 10. game this game is fucking awesome for 20 dollars the developers absolutely deserve your money they add in a significant amount of content week by week he has a lot of really awesome plans for this title Sounds if very, somebody very, very doesn't exciting. want to pay for it is there a way to get it for free mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, no, because that would be immoral to tomorrow, and we don't condone that behavior. So what we're going to do is we're going to spin the cylinder. So I can't go to the and look up. I'm going to have to censor you out. God damn it. <laughs> we don't talk about that stuff. Good night, boys. Good night. Oh. Pin and just drop it on the <laughs> oh. Can you put the pin back in after you? I don't know. Take it out. Does it work? No. Oh, no. shit. Oh, God. Oh, what, what do you do, do now? What do I do? Drop it on oh, the floor. Drop it. Right in, right in front of you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, God. That was really creepy. <laughs>